Okay, Mike here at Sky Include. It is October 2022. You know, I think it was Chango says this is going to be the year of the uh, Web3 naming protocols, or maybe next year, 2023. And I just did a video on Decentral Web, and now there's free name, and I think there's going to be a whole bunch more. The, the word on the street and Twitter and the handshake community is there's all these people making these, getting VC funding, getting uh, different backing to create their own TLDs, mostly on Ethereum, it looks like. And uh, they, a lot of people think Ethereum is the only blockchain to build on or whatever. Um, so this one is free name. I'm going to do an overview and try to be unbiased as possible. But of course, I've studied all of these even before I got into Handshake, uh, the ones at the time I knew about in 2020. Um, I'm still convinced Handshake is the way. Um, I will make a follow-up video for Decentraweb. The, the team there reached out to me uh, with a lot of supporting documents. I will make a video there. I'm still digging through that. But let's focus on free name right now. It seems like it's a new solution based out of Switzerland. And uh, I heard about it from some outraged people in Twitter uh, from the Handshake community. Uh, screenshot here, dot .token and Handshake is pretty upset. And, um, you know, people are... Uh, he says he inadvertently discovered it. Um, and it seems like they've already trademarked or filed a trademark for dot .token trademark in Switzerland, even though um, dot .token has been for sale and actively selling around the world online for, I don't know, at least a year. So it seems strange that a trademark could be passed when there's a existing uh, use of that exact name online. Anyways, um, let us... Look at some other tweets. Dot Universe, this, this guy or team has been really active in a community. Shout out to Dot Universe. Seems like he just wanted to secure his name there, so he went through and bought Dot Universe also on free name for $1,100 US dollars. Um, but yeah, he says it's not very free because their name is free name, but it's not free. He paid $1,100 US. Um, but he, he's basically saying he had, felt he had to do it. Um, some of our community members is vocally against supporting them or buying them to to lock it in. Um, I'll link these in the notes if you want to read these tweets. But I like to dot universe said. Actually, I think I've said this too. Uh, HNS is own blockchain. That's better. These look like word NFTs on a smart contract. As someone said, I think that was me. <laughs> it is. I mean, anybody can make up their own smart contract and sell words, just like you can make your own smart contract and sell JPEGs. Um, just because you make words up and uh, and sell words on a blockchain um, doesn't mean they're domain names. That's uh, something we should all think about as all these new spaces pop up. Of course, they're trying to get uh, um, uh, you know get um, adoption, just like Handshake, just like all these others um, integrations. So how does free name work? Okay. Let us open up the website. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to I'm not going to buy one today. I've been buying some like in the past on these videos, but I'm not I'm not going to buy one. I'll, I'll show you as much as I can without buying one. So it's pretty straightforward. They actually support Stripe credit cards, so you don't even need a wallet a, um, to buy one. You just need a credit card. I think it also does accept cryptocurrencies. Um, but you have to create an account first and foremost with your name, your email, uh, other information. That was a re reason I uh, I didn't go ahead with it because um, I do things on Bob Wallet. I, I don't need to do that. Um, of course, there's name base, but we don't have to do that to use a protocol in uh so see, you create an account name, email, username, password, accept terms and conditions. I'll talk about the terms and conditions later. You should make sure to read those. All right. And then um, and then you can basically buy a TLD or a SLD, normal domain. Seems like it all has to go through their platform. Uh, you can't make your own. That I Maybe they will. I mean, again, it's, it's so new, right? So maybe they will in the future, but as of now... There's some $10 coupon you can get. Um, I've seen people on Twitter talking about their coupon. Um, you can create TLDs, mint domains, uh, trademark them on Web3, um, and then again, as a registrar, I 
try to understand this when I read the FAQ. It, it, um, it didn't. I didn't follow it clearly. But let's stick, or let's stick to. So I read all the features. I read through the site, and and read through it basically the terms. So I'm not sure what gain is. I click the button. I don't see gain here. Um, again, I, I mean they're brand new, so maybe there's just some updates on their website. And, um, but basically, you just buy buy it. Like you search their site. Um, let's see if I click Satoshi. See, I've dot token there. Uh, I don't know how the pricing is determined, but dot pump I could get dot pump for one thousand ninety nine US. I can get dot rocket laughing two ninety nine US. It's strange to me in US dollar. I guess because they accept credit cards and Stripe. Um, crypto whale misspelled fifty nine dollars. So um, you can also get the SLD Satoshi dot token. Um, you. Um, basically, yeah, it's like registering everything through their platform. And sign up for email, applies in US dollars. Uh, is minting the same as buying? No. Uh, similar to unstoppable domains, you buy it with a credit card on their Web2 platform and then you mint it to a blockchain, um, which is Aurora, BSC, Kronos, Polygon. And then coming soon, they say, is near Avalanche, Ethereum, and Solana. So these are probably cheaper cost. I know Polygon. I'm not familiar with these others. Our BSCF did a little bit of playing with. Um, so that's the idea. You buy it from them on, with dollars and credit cards, and then you mint it to blockchains. Um, I'm curious how chargebacks would work if I bought it and then charged back and then minted it. But I think... The idea, though, is you wouldn't receive the royalties, I think, if they banned your account. So minting, I think we understand this, but basically first is buying, which is the first step, right? And then you buy through the free name IO platform, and then you would mint it to a blockchain. For now, you could choose to mint it to Aurora, BSC, Kronos, or Polygon. Later will be these, these and maybe probably more. It says more. Um, okay, can I transfer? I was studying this. I was studying basically FAQs because I, I didn't want to create a, a Web2 account. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> um, so they said transferring after you minted, it can be transferred by you from your w wallet um, and then um, to their address. But I don't understand what it means about one-time password code by email to confirm the transaction. I think what I understand here is um, there's no renewal fees uh, on anything on both SLDs or TLDs, uh, which is a little bit scary because, you know, um, I know there's a bit of debate about increasing the mining fees of the Handshake blockchain for TLDs, but you have to have an e ecosystem that supports it, just like there's royalties to artists on JPEGs, on monkeys, or on uh, aliens. They they get that percent when people buy or sell. There has to be some kind of a system of, uh, of supporting it even after. So the model is you would just, I guess, stake it with them, um, and then you get 50% of the SLD sales as a TLD owner. Okay. Um, you can activate royalties. And that's, I guess, it's similar to staking or, you know, um, um, the various words even in Handshake. But then you would get 50% of the transaction. So I guess they keep, I guess that's their business model. They, f they out front get the money from buying, selling you the TLDs on their block system, not blockchain system. And then you can... Uh, stake it and then they sell it and then they give you half of what so it seems like this Satoshi they would give half to the TLD owner um, and that's the model that I can see but they also have this trademark service in Switzerland so you can trademark your SLDs or TLDs um, as well as your logo and it's with this IGE.ch Swiss Federal Institute of Intellectual Property and uh, you can apply through them and have to do KYC and list the TLDs you want to trademark and proof of payment. 
and it takes one week and it's about 1500 us dollars fee um and it can go worldwide for six months so it's really curious like this dot token uh tld owner and handshake is furious of course because he's has them selling actively on like namecheap name uh and circa and other platforms um so it's definitely in use but this um new company is selling dot tokens on their system which is a conflict and uh also trademarking it in switzerland which will then try to f file it worldwide which is just really strange um so some other things I see, there is a GitHub link for their repos. So I usually try to check this out, although I'm not so technical. I like to see the um, what kind of code base they're, they're to have open sourced. And the only thing I can see is their resolver to open these domain names on, uh, on Web3. I don't see like their uh, other code that they've made for this system that can be publicly audited or viewed or, or used. Um, so that's usually something I pay attention to and you should too is the code uh, open sourced audited so they're also ignoring handshake uh, uh, totally um, someone in the handshake community says they reached out to one of their team members and that free name person said they never heard of handshake which I think is kind of hard to he to believe because uh, I've made over almost 200 YouTube videos about Handshake, and uh, it's also ranks in Google for all of these ENS unstoppable comparisons. So I, I find that hard to believe um, that you couldn't find Handshake in a couple basic Google searches about TLDs on Web3. So, you know, it basically is going through how to resolve the, um, you know, we talk about like light clients, not light client, APIs, right? Um, like Infura to, uh, to resolve these names. So that's um, that's the GitHub. I always recommend people to see if there's a GitHub of the code of these projects. And then the terms and conditions, which you have to check the box off when you signed up for an account. It says in there, um, so you get this 50% royalty, right? And it's coming from getting payment from free name, receiving the money, and then giving you the 50% after. But what happens if they cancel your account? We retain the rights and absolute discretion to terminate your account and or access to the platform for any element thereof. If we believe you are abusing or tampering with the platform or uh, you have breached terms of service. But then it also says our sole discretion, any decision of free name is final and no correspondence will be entered into. Example would be block and cancel your account if you are under 18 or locate a country where we do not operate our platform or allow or allow a third party to use your account. Um, you know, this stuff scares me, you know. Um, this is, like, not really Web3, in, in my opinion. So, um, to my, if you're watching this at free name, you know, don't, don't, people love this word free name, uh, re, you know, Web3 and decentralized. Um, but I don't really see that if, if my account can be closed at any reason by them. And then I cannot get access to the platform to get my 50% royalties of the TLD I, I bought uh, with my Stripe credit card. Um, so, you know, don't call it Web3. Web I mean, I know they're all trying to bridge Web2 to Web3. I mean, even though Sky Includes brand name is including you in the Sky, connecting you to the Web3 or the D-Web. So I, I did browse an HNS chat. There was somebody just mentioning about what they think of uh, free name and, uh, you know, um, some, they're, you know, they're really pushing hard to get this trademark saying that they, they, they have IP. Um, he's also afraid because they, you know, Freedom has a lot of money. They're going to be pushing a lot like unstoppable into Facebook ads and TikTok ads and other ads. Um, and then, uh, they're afraid that, you know, Somebody's frustrated in Handshake. I guess he has some TLDs in Handshake stake with like name base and is not making any money or Impervious not making any money um, and saying, isn't that the same? I don't think that's the same. I mean, I agree. Handshake is you know, kind of more DIY. You need to promote your own TLDs. You can't just stake and forget it. But, um, and then some says, isn't free name similar to name base? You know, I mean, in the centralization part and the TOS part. And I say... It is. There are similarities. You know, they're both uh, more centralized companies. But the big difference here, Namebase is a app on Handshake protocol 
there is impervious domains there you can make your own registrar which i've done with uh, uh agamin there's a uh, uh eskimo which is making a uh I'm staking with him. You can put it all across different platforms, web to all, you know, traditional, you can use decentralized, you can make your own bridges like loom web is making one to even blockchains. I don't even know about. So sure. You can make that connection. And there's a lot of people picking on that because especially hand name base has a lot of uh, bugs right now, um, which I believe they're working through. They put a lot of resources into f fixing that. But um you know, the, the beauty I've liked about Handshake, even though it's a majority of name base is the custodian of most names, you don't have to, you know, uh, I have many, many videos about Bob Wallet. Uh, you can also use CLI. There's other wallets. We even have Mona Pay, one of our developers in our community uh, network helped make that. So I'm rambling here, but I hope all this makes sense. I, I'd i love to hear the argument of why this is more decentralized, um, but it's, it's one platform that you have to buy and sell but i guess it is easier you know if you get 50 percent royalty share of anything purchased here as slds um and uh i just curious how this legal stuff is going to go with ips of and trademarks of s of a uh, domain extensions uh if they're already being used in the international online market I don't know what a trademark attorney in any jurisdiction would say about that, but it's going to be interesting stuff to watch. And I think there's many more of these TLD platforms for Web3 coming. It seems like I heard many more, so I'll try my best to cover them. Thank you.